Today on Math with Rob, we're going to be talking about the right-hand derivative. In this video, we're going to define the right-hand derivative in terms of a limit of a difference quotient. We will derive the formula for the definition from the slope formula. We will compute the right-hand derivative of f of x equals x squared, and we're going to assign an exercise and cover the solution. There's a theorem, and the theorem is that if f of x is differentiable at x, the right-hand derivative, the left-hand derivative, the two-sided derivative, and all the other possible derivatives that you can come up with are equivalent and called the derivative. So let's derive the difference quotient from the slope formula. We remember from uh, algebra that the slope is given by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The change in the y is divided by the change in the x's. If you apply this formula to a secant line that goes between x comma f of x and x plus h comma f of x plus h, you get a formula for the slope of the secant line. So we let y2 equal f of x plus h and y1 equal f of x and x2 equal x plus h and x1 equal x. Now remember that the secant line is, the, is a line that goes through a function at two points. If we let this horizontal distance between x and x plus h shrink down to zero, so we let um, h go to zero, we take a limit as h approaches zero, this secant line, which touches the function at two points, becomes a tangent line which touches the function at one point, specifically x. Algebraically, the slope of the secant line becomes the derivative. The slope of the tangent line is the derivative. So let's continue this. If we substitute these values into the slope formula, we get the slope of the secant line, f of x plus h minus f of x over x plus h minus x. On the denominator, the x plus h cancels with the x to give us h. And as the horizontal distance h goes to 0, the slope of the secant line becomes the slope of the tangent line, also called the derivative. The derivative is denoted by f prime of x equal df dx um, equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of, f, f of x over h. So for example, we can uh, take f of x to be uh, the formula x squared. In this example, f of x plus h equals x plus h squared, and f of x equals x squared. So we plug these values into the difference quotient, and we get the limit as h approaches 0 of x plus h squared minus x squared over h. We can expand this x plus h squared, um, and that will give us x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And we now are able to cancel the x squared and the x squared, leaving us with 2xh plus h squared over h. Now this formula is not defined when h, when h is 0, but it is defined uh, when h approaches 0. It has a removable discontinuity at h equals 0, and so we remove that. And so we get the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h. The limit of 2x as h approaches 0 is just 2x, and the limit of h as h approaches 0 is just 0. So our answer is 2x. Our exercise is going to be f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. So right now, please try to compute the right-hand derivative of f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. Pause the video here. Okay, you're back. Uh, df dx is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of x plus h squared plus 2x plus h plus 1. This entire expression is f of x plus h. And then this expression is f of x, x squared plus 2x plus 1. We can separate out the term here and the term here into its own, into their own uh, quotient, and we can separate this term and this term into their own quotient, and the 1 and the 1 into their own quotient. Now we have x plus h minus x squared minus x squared over h 
we have 2 times x plus h minus 2x over h, and we have 1 minus 1 over h. We can expand and cancel and get 2xh plus h squared over h, 2h over h, and 0 over h. We remove the discontinuities and we get 2x plus h uh, plus 2 plus 0. And now we take the limit as h approaches 0, and this will be um, 2x, the limit of this will be 0, and the limit of this will be 2. And so our answer is 2x plus h. Uh, thank you, and uh, be ready next time for the left-hand derivative.